we'll do for this playlist. Um, and it says Alexa spent three minutes working on each of her math problems and four minutes on each of her science problems. Her homework took her more than 60 minutes to complete. The boundary line for the inequality, 3x plus 4y is greater than 60 is shown. So they, they, they already drew everything for us. Let's just go back and just make sure that we understand how to do this. Okay, so um, if we had to create this, right, we would have let x equal. Now, what do you think x would have equaled? Okay, uh, if you think it's the minutes working on a math problem, it's not that. This is actually going to be, she spent three minutes on every math problem. So this would actually been the number of math problems. Okay, and then x would have been the number of science problems. Okay, then, um, and again, we're, we're just rebuilding the, this, this equation to make sure you understand how that works, right? So she spent, x is the number of problems, and she spent three minutes per math problem, and she spent four minutes on every science problem. Okay, let me just go back and take that back off. Sorry about that. All right. And it says that it took her more than, that's a greater than sign, more than 60 minutes, right? This is the total amount of minutes, total minutes on science, total minutes on math. When you add them up, they should be more than 60. And so we have this boundary line, okay? Um, if you were to put this in y equals mx plus b, then you would be able to graph the line. It's dashed or dotted because this is a greater than sign. It does not have that equal to on the bottom. And it says, which statement could be true for the situation? All right, so being that it's a greater than, let's just go ahead and just uh, put this in slope intercept form and let's just make sure that there's no tricks, right? Hold on, my pen's acting up a little bit. Minus three x, minus three x, bam, bam. You get four y, this comes straight down negative 3x plus 60 since we cannot combine these and if we divide each of them by 4 we get y is greater than negative 3 over 4x plus 15 okay which they have here they started at the correct number and they went down the greater than part implies that we'll be shading in which direction okay we'll be shading above right so now we simply just have to look at the coordinates um remember x is math problems y is science so when you so when we create a coordinate what we're really saying is math comma science okay so when they say alexa completed eight math problems okay math was x comma nine science we're saying does this coordinate eight comma nine so let's see see how it goes up by uh, four here so four six eight nine right below the line there so it doesn't look like it's gonna it's gonna uh, be at the right thing okay it looks like we're actually right there all right and if you remember a point that's on the dashed line not a solution uh, Alexa completed four math problems but six science so four and six brings us here that's a definite no 20 math problems and 10 science problems so 20 and 10 brings us around here that's a that's a that's a yes and then she no math problems so zero but 15 science problems so zero and 15 brings us on this line okay on the line if it's on the line not a solution and let me just show you to so, so that you understand that right if we use 0 comma 15 we do here 0 comma 15 they use 3x plus 4y is greater than 60. Now, again, this is on a dashed line. So if we were to substitute, okay, x for 0, y for 15, we get 0, 3 times 0, plus 60 is greater than 60. And is it true that 60 is greater than 60? No. 60 is equal to 60, but there's no equal sign under the inequality, so this is technically false. So that's why this is not a solution, right? The other one that we had issues with was that they believe this one, right? Eight comma nine. So let's just take a second and, and do that. So we have three X plus four Y is greater than 60. Three times eight plus four times nine is greater than 60. Okay, because we weren't really that sure if that was on the line. So 24 plus 36 is greater than 60. When you add them up, 60 is greater than 60. We know that that's false. So 
this just proves because we had we literally had two points that was on a dashed I'm stressing the word dashed line um, that ended up being false so any point that's on a dotted or dashed line is completely false if it had been solid then we would have been okay All right so this actually concludes um, this playlist and I'll start doing another one later